Welcome back, everyone. We have some exciting news for you. Uh, for those of you that, uh, if you're familiar with Hoops Vision and really in this area, you cannot be. And um, we have Dr. R uh, Robert Rivera here. And you, well, one of the things when you guys came on the last time, we were talking about the, the grand opening of your new building and all the wonderful things there. And I took a tour there. I know Nisha has too. And there's a part of that building that's dedicated to research, which is so important for us because that means you're staying on top of the latest things and two new of the new things that you want to talk about today um, are things that you've been researching right there. Let's talk about the one that has to do with cataracts because you have a wing divided spe especially just for people that need cataract surgery. That's correct. You know the nice thing about cataract surgery is it's an easy procedure. Everybody gets cataracts. All we have to do is live long enough. But as time has gone, has gone on, we've been able to develop new types of lens implants. We are studying one of these lenses that actually has the ability to be adjusted after it's implanted into the eye. The adjustment being to correct whatever prescription you might have left over. It's revolutionary technology. We are the first in the United States to be implanting this type of thing. There are very few sites that the FDA has selected and we're among the first four in the country really wow. to be able to do this. Now when you say adjusting, what does that actually mean? That means uh, giving you your prescription that your eye might need after your cataract operation. The surgery itself, like I say, is very easy. We implant the lens to correct your vision, but occasionally that lens doesn't have your full prescription in it. People's eyes heal differently, for right. example. So what we're able to do with this particular lens is after you've healed, go back and adjust the lens itself with some special UV light. Oh, so that means you don't have to have surgery again. Mm -hmm. It's all right. done through a laser. Right, or, or through an ultraviolet or through light, which, UV light, which corrects the uh, the prescription within the lens itself. Now, how do you know that you, might, you may have a cataract? Yeah, everybody gets cataracts. It's a matter of time. Young people can get them, but it's typically something that uh, comes with increasing birthdays. So that, uh, oh, uh, yeah, the, the first <laughs> symptoms, yeah, we're all there, we're all there, but uh, the first symptoms Symptoms people might notice are, for example, glare from headlights at nighttime, difficulty with night vision, and this sort of thing. They oftentimes sneak up, so a patient may not be aware that they have cataracts, which is a reason we want patients to come in and have their eyes examined on a regular basis. All right, so your second research has to do with car keratoconus? Keratoconus, right. Okay. Keratoconus. And what is that? Keratoconus is a degenerative condition of the cornea, which is the front surface of the eye. The fibers that make up the cornea become weakened over time. Utah happens to be, I believe, the U.S. capital of keratoconus. I've never seen any other place outside of the Middle East that has the incidence of keratoconus that we do here. Why tends, do we have that? Tends to run in families. Oh, gosh. Um, and, and we see a lot of patients that don't even know they have that. All they know is their, their vision might be blurry. And so when they come in, typically for a LASIK evaluation, we find that they're not good candidates for that type of surgery. The bad news with keratoconus is that in the past, if you were diagnosed with this, many times it would degenerate to the point that the only way to correct your vision would be with a very, very difficult surgery, a cornea transplant, which required transplanting human tissue onto your eye to correct that. So what the new uh, uh, procedure that we're investigating has to do with is basically using two substances, ultraviolet light again, and riboflavin, a naturally occurring vitamin that's placed into the cornea, it's allowed to absorb, and then the ultraviolet light is placed on top of the eye to provide a chemical reaction that strengthens those weakened fibers. Patients who have this, it's called cross-linking. Patients who have corneal cross-linking are very, very uh, much served by the procedure to the point that uh, they may even be able to avoid a cornea transplant, have their vision improved, their eye stabilized. Is that after they have been diagnosed or can this be, is this preventative? Well, it's preventive. Once we find that a patient has this to a certain degree, mm -hmm. then we intervene and we say, I okay, see. now you're a candidate for it. Let's keep you from ever needing a cornea transplant. And it truly is revolutionary because in the past, the only option was to let it continue to progress, let a patient continue to suffer uh, until they needed uh, you know, a pretty invasive surgery. Are insurance companies, are they working with you on these type of procedures? Yeah, they will eventually. Right now, under the investigational uh, clause, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, insurance companies typically don't cover this. But we have numerous ways of, of making of sure, right, of making sure that patients can still have the procedures done. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Rivera, what's coming to my mind is really um, eye checkups. 
Because a lot of this you don't know until you actually go in for That's a right. How often should people have their eyes checked? Well, once you reach the age of 50, we recommend every one year or so to come in. Uh, little children can also have uh, cataracts, for example, uh, keratoconus as well. So we recommend the normal school screenings be done. A uh, child should probably have their eyes examined fully by the time they enter uh, you know, uh, grade school. And um, really, it, it, it's just a matter of bringing you in. Our exams are very easy to go through. We can detect so many things ahead of time nowadays. And it's just important to, to make that connection with your, with your eye care provider. Dr. Rivera, you guys have done so many amazing things and cutting edge. I mean, you have talked to us before about the contact lens that you mm. sew right on top of the eye. And I think you're really the only surgeon that does it around here. Now, I, 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 brilliant. And I want to ask you, coming up with all of these things, you know, you're doing all the research. When you guys do actually, you know, take the step towards it, how does it make you feel? How are you, are you, does it just make you so excited that you have come up with this? Yes, and, and just to correct you, there are other surgeons that, that do the procedures uh, locally as well, but um, I've been fortunate to do more of these ICLs, for example, than anyone else in the U.S. Okay, that's what it is. It is such an exciting thing to be able to take this type of technology and apply it to a patient's life. Change the way they interact with the world around them. Nationally, I see the things that are on the horizon that are being done in other countries, for example, that we bring into the U.S. under FDA guidelines and FDA trials. It is a beautiful world out there, I tell you, and, and the ability to, to just take that, to, that procedure and in a very, very controlled way, study it, investigate it, and apply it to human subjects whose lives are truly changed. It's a fabulous thing. I just had a friend that came to one of my classes last night and she said, I just had LASIK surgery done. And I said, who did it? She said, Hoops Vision. And she said, it was the best money that I have ever spent. She said, I have new eyes. And, and truly, it made me think, you know, someone who doesn't suffer from, you know, I don't have bad eyes. But every single day, she said, I don't have to get up and put my contacts in. I mean, it's mm. something that, yeah. a gift that you are giving people yeah. is so special. You know, it, it's not unusual to have our patients tearful at the moment they realize their vision is, is as good as it is. Sure. It is. I mean, it's, it's really a touching moment. Oh, I, I can't imagine, but that's so rewarding, and thank you so much. Um, Hoops Vision, the address is right there on the screen. You can't miss it. It's right off the I-15 in Draper. It's a beautiful new building, and remember, they have so many departments there, so if you have any questions, give them a call. Go out and visit with them. I know I personally came out to see you, and you spent probably a good hour working on, with me, and that was... You, you cleared me up. It was awesome. We will link you to all this information on our own webpage at abc4.com. Just click on you Good Things Utah, and we'll link you right there to Hoops Vision. Go out and see them. It's worth your time. And the site, the gift of site, it's, it, you just can't buy that. It's priceless. So thank you so much for coming on. Wonderful. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.